1857, Edward Leon de Martinville invented the phonograph, thus ushering in the era of recorded sound. What this means is that before 1857, if you were hearing music, you were hearing music because somebody was playing for you. Somebody was there performing for you. What was that like? What was it like to have an experience of music that was always direct? An experience of music where there was never anything in between you and the person who was playing for you? While we're talking about music, let's talk about classical music in Thunder Bay. Why is it that there are students who are still performing on classical instruments in Thunder Bay? Students who are still performing and composing classical symphonies in Thunder Bay? Why is it that the Thunder Bay Symphony has reached a record all-time high number of subscriptions this year? Well, there are lots of people that know the answers to those questions, but in the same way that you can't taste this wine, in the same way that you can't smell this cigar, you won't know the answers to these questions until you come and experience it for yourself. So look, this Thursday, the Thunder Bay Symphony Orchestra is performing Tchaikovsky's Fourth Symphony. Come to the symphony. Be there at 7.10 p.m. We'll talk through it, then we'll experience it together, and the Thunder Bay Symphony Orchestra will play for us. And by the end, you will know that you know that you know that it's good. Your seat's waiting for you. Don't let somebody take it.